Ah, back at it again, I see. Don't worry, I'll do one of these as well once the DLC is out and I've played it. Starters are kinda important. They're the things we start our journey with that are meant to be our best friends and help carry us to victory through the Elite Four and get you to the title of champion. The thing is, starters have a wide range in quality. Some are great, some are utter trash. Some are just meh, and rather than grouping them by evolution, I feel like the best way to explain how I feel about each of them is to discuss them one by one. And the Megas too, why not? The only rule I have is that Pikachu and Eevee are on this list, since Pikachu's a starter in two games and I loved Let's Go, so bite me. Also, I won't do Gen 8 since we don't know all their forms or how they perform, so it's only from Kanto to, well, Kanto again. Same rules as last time, whole numbers out of tens, prolative awards, titties out the whole shebang. With that out of the way, here's every Pokemon starter reviewed in 10 words or less. Well-rounded, really cute too. One of the top middle stage evolutions, hands down. Such large, much slow. Ah uh, yes, because more tree is what we needed. Fucking adorable. Those prickly teen years. The most hyped dad bod in existence. Personally, I don't get the appeal. This is much more what a Mega should look like. Good in Smash, bad at everything else. That cool older brother who drives you places. Someone you can cuddle up with on the beach. A tall drink of- OH GOD! Solid plant dog thing. Plus cute! Praise be upon the holy leaf, for she is beautiful. And just like that. Actually, I have no idea. Asian baby will eat too much soy sauce. Stoner cousin no one really gets. Oh hey, it's Godzilla's salamander. Ow, damn it, I was hit with cuteness. A step down, but I appreciate the cosplay. Did somebody call for the smackdown? Well, there he is. You're a punk ass bitch, bitch, bitch. What even are you? Way overrated and honestly not my top choice. Deck the halls with what the fuck. Da -da 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 -da. It's what's for dinner. I refer you to my last statement, except during sex. Falcon, me! Here comes the crimson thigh. Memes, memes for days. Oh, oh no. Super cute, kinda wish it had a better name. Ready and raring to pounce. Somebody skipped every leg day, ever. He's a slow runner, but he's trying. Rolling around at the speed of five miles an hour? Damn it. Mossy turtle shells taken to their logical conclusion. It's solid. Best first form fire type, and I'll fight you on that. Somehow, we've gone the Mexican route. Odd. Ladies and gents, a legit ass kicker enters the ring. Little kid just wanted to be a water astronaut. Poor guy had to wait tables to play for college. And now he's the emperor of the fucking world. Two words, sassy perfection. One word, eh. Oh yes, darling, shed that skin. Lose those arms, darling. The only time I want a pig in my life. I want a javelin this thing like as a sport. How does this make so little evolutionary sense logically? God damn you game freaks, I'm taking my money. This is the best water middle stage. Don't even. You were the chosen one. Why God, why? Give him all the macrons. Now. Ooh, maybe that was a bad idea. Oh look, it's warrior grandpa here to save the day. Man, gen six had really cute starter Pokemon. Wow, that's pretty. Also loved its movement in the show. A fox witch doctor is just what this series needed. Ish a frog. That's about it. Nothing too special. Oh look, he got into Naruto. Joy oh joy. Weebs. Every last one of you. Having said that, this is fucking awesome. Aw, oh, he's a cute little nerd boy. Damn you school bullies, you've turned him emo. Emo! Since then he's calmed down and taken up archery. Hooray! Literally the only cat I'd ever want to own. Here comes the windup, and that's a home run. There's a curveball coming, and there goes the championship. Ah! Why, Game Freak? Why do you do this to me? Oh my God! What happened to your eyes? Mermaid Seal is best water starter. There, I said it. A bit limited, but those extra moves help so much. This needs to be real. I want to hug it. And that's all of them. Now you don't want to go back and see which one's got the best and worst scores, although that one might be obvious. So let's do the top and bottom five. As always, there's a link to the rating spreadsheet in the description. So with that out of the way, let's move on to the top and bottom five. Number five, Mega Charizard X. Starting out strong with those unpopular hot takes. I honestly don't like Mega Charizard X because it looks too far removed from every other Mega. It looks badass, I'll admit, but it just hurts my brain to figure out how it goes from this to this. 
Mega Charizard Y makes much more logical sense to me, and is a much more sensible Mega. Also, Charizard is overrated in general. It's a dragon. Ooh, I'm so impressed. That must have taken a whole three seconds to come up with. Number four, Mudkip. I heard you like Mudkips, because I kind of do. But the thing that hinders it is the fact that the memes have worn me out on this thing. It's cute, but seriously, it's not that cute. Number three, Trico. I hate geckos. Like, I just hate them. I hate all reptiles, but with Pokemon, they get a pass because aside from the snakes, nothing looks too scaly. Trico does. Also, in the Poke Park games I had as a kid, it was a dick, and it just soured the thing as it was the first time I'd ever met one. Yes, it's petty, but hey, it's my list, my reasoning. If you haven't guessed, battling prowess means fuck all to me. Number two, Grovile. Moving right along to the next stage of Trico, we have Grovile. My biggest issue for this one is that it's too similar to Trico. Take a look at something like Turtwig to Grottle. Yes, they look similar, but there's such a change in their body and the plant layout that it's a worthy evolution. This one, and to a lesser extent because I kind of like Gen 1 Phase 1 starters, Charmeleon just got bigger and maybe got a slightly deeper shade of its respective color. Also, what's with the leaf on its head? It's so stupid. And the number one worst Pokemon starter evolution is Incineroar. Oh boy, this one is just... Ugh. How do you fuck up something so simple? I don't care that Smash Bros is a thing and that they wanted him in it. They had a perfectly fine owl archer just waiting in the wings. <laughs> wings. But no, they had to fuck up a perfectly cool looking evolution because having a quadruped in that game would be too hard to program. Oh wait! I normally don't care about stuff like this, but look at Litten and Toracat. They look so cool, and they're my least favorite Sun and Moon starter, by the way. So this isn't me being butthurt they killed my fate. You have a house cat, a bobcat, and then a fucking pro wrestler. I mean, the tiger thing makes sense, but you could have just made him a badass version of that panther or even a better version of Pyroar. Incineroar is squandered potential in the name of Nintendo's bottom line, and that is why it's the worst of the lot. Alrighty, enough with the cynicism, let's move on to being positive for a change. And yes, before you ask, all but number one are here because of the show. Number five, Snivy. What I love about Snivy is its stubbornness. It's very proud and wants to win, but also knows that it needs a good trainer to do so. Most Pokemon are just like, oh hey, you beat me, I'll be awesome forever. She's like, yeah, you wore me down, but I still gotta get time to know ya. And I like that. It made her feel like more of a character and it colored my view of all Snivys. Like I had to earn their respect before I can truly call them a partner. Snivy wasn't the most powerful, but she certainly left an impression on me. Number four, Bayleaf. I don't know what to tell you. This thing is just cute. Just looks like all it wants to do is have a fun time and be a friend. Its design is also really solid. Like it's the most perfect middle ground of a form and it shows the level of care Game Freak can put into their games if they really try. Sadly though, most end up looking like Brion. Number three, Ashiwat. It wants to be a white knight, but it can't even open its eyes under water. He's the ultimate little kid and I love him. Look at this pure child. He just wants to make friends and prove that he belongs and damn it, he's trying. Oshawott is one of my favorite things about Gen 5 and literally makes me smile whenever I see it. And did I mention he can't even open his eyes under water and he's a water type Pokemon that knows the move Aqua Jet because that shit makes me love him all the more. Like what the fuck? Why is that so endearing? And he learns to overcome it. He has a real character character arc, and it's so fucking great, I love it. Number two, Braxen. Two words, Pokemon showcases. I love Serena. I love her moves, I love her optimism, her drive, the fuck she gives about something that she stumbled into ass backwards, and by god I love this witch fox. Fennekin was an alright Pokemon, it did what it had to, but then it evolved, made me sit up, slapped me in the face, and said, YOU WILL LOVE ME! And Damn it if that didn't happen. For fuck's sake, in one episode they tackled loss, but rather than doing it with an actual death or even some random character we don't know or care about, we got something more personal. The branch in Brakeson's tail breaks, and that branch and it using moves with it won Serena her first princess key, and when it breaks, Brakeson fears that Serena won't want her anymore, and it's so touching and I love it. It's the episode that made me care more about Brakeson, more so than, oh, she's one of the main character's Pokemon. No, she was truly a character in her own right, and was one of the many reasons X and Y was such an amazing series. So with that love letter done, we can move on to the best starter. And much like with the worst list, this one is a Gen 7 Pokemon, and it's not the one you're thinking of. And the reason for this is because everything Sun and Moon got wrong, it got 10 things right. And this is a famous example. The best starter Pokemon stage is... Number 1, Poplio. Now, wait a second. Just wait one moment. There's a reason for this, and it's twofold. One is that it's the underdog. 
no one liked it. There were articles and videos and even entire teams of people who despised this little guy for just being weird. It's a cute little seal that just wanted to have a ball and play around. These are also the people who think that the edgy red and black cat is the best thing since razor blades. But I digress. Rowlet is cute, but he never wowed me. Pop Leo did. It just has this smile on its face all the time, and it makes me love it much more than most starters. Yes, you have ones like Bulbasaur and Oshawott who smile a lot too, but I don't know, this one just kind of hit me more. And yes, its second form is Derby, but I still love it all around. We all have that awkward teen phase, and hers is just a bit more awkward than the rest of us. Don't ever knock the ugly girl in middle school, kids, because she'll discover makeup, and that's when she comes to play. And two? I have a funny story about it. See, when they first announced the starters for Sun and Moon, they didn't say what they were supposed to be, so much like Sobble, I didn't know what to call Pop Leo as an animal. Now I know it's a seal. But at the time, my naive Harry Potter obsessed brain kind of took over. I thought it was supposed to be a water dog mermaid. Its hands looked like paws to me, and its face had a very dog-like look to it. And the tail? Well, have you seen Primarina? That's a mermaid. So I thought Poplio was supposed to be one too. The fact that Rowlet and Litten were an owl and a cat made my brain fill in the gap that in Harry Potter you can bring a cat, an owl, or a dog. And when someone told me that it was a seal, I had an oh shit moment and it made me love it even more since I had a story all my own. I've had two Poplios and both times I've never regretted picking it because it's such a fun and wacky Pokemon. Also a lot of the trials were either weak to fairy or water, so that helped. Plus, Sing is way OP in most solid encounters. So for all those reasons and many, many, many more, that's why Poplio is the best starter stage thus far. With that over and done with, I can already hear the approval cue burning like the sun. My name is Chris, and I hope you all have a fractastic time in Galar.